hello welcome members so in today's video we are just starting on building on our full stack portfolio the full stack portfolio is part of the two projects that we build in the full stack course uh for the next js as you can see here on the page learning page for the course we are building a full stack portfolio plus this three in one uh, inventory management system. I guess you guys you have been seeing um, the previews of the inventory management system uh, with the e commerce plus the point of sale. You must have seen the videos. Um, now, in today's build, we are just starting to build the full stack portfolio. Now, the full stack portfolio uh, is part of this uh, course and i've decided to make this part on youtube uh we are building this amazing portfolio and this amazing portfolio is not only just on the nice looking fancy animations we are just going to build it to be actually made with a dashboard we are going to add a dashboard behind this so that if you're just like managing even when you are talking to to your employers you don't just tell them um I just built this and this is the UI. You show them that all this content on your website is being managed from uh, the back end, okay? And this is going to be divided into three parts. The first and the second part, we are going to be working on the UI, uh, coming up with these animations and you know, all this uh, stuff, nice looking, we are working on the UI and Today's video is the first episode and this is what we have managed to build, okay? So this is what uh, we have. Of course, we have added even more nice things than the way it is, okay? First of all, you can see this is the light mode is blazing is so nice and look at this. So we have this, um, our tech stack technologies, we are having this nice uh, component where you can showcase um the your skills you can just go and look also we have this and uh, look at this okay and now i can just uh, go to the dark mode and the dark mode is also so nice uh look at these components we have uh look at this all this is really really sought about and we are not just going to only just build this to be only looking nice like this on the front end, we're also going to make this uh, to be looking so nice and coming from the back end. So if you are so happy and you want to join me on this build, this is a big build. It is just not just like a tutorial. This is a full course, okay? Uh, that's why these tutorials are going to be really huge and I'm trying to make them really in three, a uh, few episodes that are going to be in three parts and this one is the first part, okay? And we are building everything from scratch. Like there is nothing like a template or anything. We are building anything from scratch. We are going to learn absolutely amazing how we are putting on all these components and everything. So, of course, it's going to have also authentication where you can just log in and manage your dashboard data. Okay, thank you so much. If you just want to dive in, simply go on and um, watch the tutorial. Hello, welcome to this video. Hello, my friend. Uh, welcome to this video. In today's video, we are going to build a full stack portfolio. Okay. A full stack portfolio is uh, amongst the two projects we are building in the full stack course, Next.js full stack course with TypeScript. And uh, you can just go and check out. I will just leave this page there. You can just always check there and you can enroll as soon as possible. So the full stack portfolio um, is going to be having a dashboard authentication and all the nice things that you can have in the big project. So in the full course, we are having these uh, two gigantic projects 
we have the full stack portfolio that we are going to build today and we have this three one system that we have been working on i think you have been seeing the demos i've been putting if you haven't seen the demo you can just go ahead and check them out okay you can check the demos out but we are going to go ahead and build this nice and beautiful um portfolio as you can see it is not just going to be looking fancy on the face just like this it is also going to be having a full stack backend it's going to be having all this content being powered uh from uh, the back end so this is going to be really awesome just going to look at how we are going to cover i i uh, for those ones who think i pre-record i haven't pre-recorded this this is going to be my first time to try it out and we are going to try it out all of us together and to come up with this nice beautiful thing okay this looks really really amazing okay and we are going to make it functional how cool is that we are going to make it functional at the end of this video it will just not be looking just nice on the face is going to be having uh all the nice uh back end it has full dark mode support uh looking amazing this is really really great okay um it has all these nice drawers and we're just going to attach a a dashboard at the end of the day okay yeah so this is the build you're going to start right away okay uh but before uh starting this build i want to say that i'm moving away from npm and for all the next of my projects i'm going to be uh having pnpm okay i'll be using pnpm uh, for all my projects and the reason why i'm switching from npm and yarn and to go to this um npm is because of these node modules so if i can just give you a live example in my pc you can see that my pc has about one terabyte okay uh it has about but i uh, actually it's like 500 i think 500 gb uh, but you can see like, on local disk C, I have 23.3 GB free out of 195 GB. And if you check, even if you check in all these other pages, there is no any uh, stuff that is making it to have that space. Most of the space after figuring it out, most of the space goes into the projects. Okay uh even you can see even here i have about uh 60 gb uh or even 75 gb are uh, covered and if you check inside there are most of them are projects okay so these mo node modules over time they accumulate and you find you have a lot of projects on your pc right now i have like um a lot of projects on my pc and all those node, node modules they accumulate over time and you find you have a lot of space taken by those node modules what does pnpm do different the uh, pnpm it's simply hard link from a single addressable storage so as you're installing from this project and you go to the next project instead of installing something it will just go and see if it has it already in its storage and then to use that one instead of keeping on downloading for instance if you're installing next.js 14 and it finds it is having next.js 14 it just have to simply connect from the other side instead of installing it new and i find that one really really nice okay so and of course it is the uh, as you can see here 2x faster than npm um so we're just going to be using pnpm uh, from now and onwards in most of my upcoming projects the ones that we are using npm already we keep using npm but the one that we are going to be using in the future will be using pnpm okay so i'm just going to start a new app with pnpm and after googling you just simply do this pnpm create next app and then you add your project so i'm just going to go into my 
uh, folder youtube builds i'm just going to simply write a command here open git bash i'm just going to simply say tnp uh, by the way before you do that make sure you have it installed okay so you can just go here and you can click on docs and i think you can just click on installation and you can just like simply look for ways of installing it and i think the easy way is using npm okay uh so you can just use npm here npm install global g or you can even use npx okay you can use this i think they even have or somewhere npx but i just simply ran this so you can just simply go and on your command line and just simply use npm to install it globally okay just npm install globally pnpm i already have this package installed so after installing it now we can just say pnpm okay pnpm and we can just say create a next app you don't have to put this uh touching each other it's just like the way we do yarn even yarn you do yarn create next app and then we put for instance full stack portfolio okay portfolio just something like this so this is going to go away and install next js as you can see here i'm just going to say yes i will just say yes uh yes lint yes tailwind yes uh would you like to no yes uh no and it will just go away uh start right away installing uh, the uh the packages okay and it will now simply start creating a storage uh, for all the next coming packages it will be checking in that storage and then it will be as you can see it has this resolved ones reuse it and then they download it okay and this one is what makes it actually so much faster okay so other things like uh you can also just get used other commands as you can see usage here uh I don't know if there's like CRE commands, uh, manage dependencies, and you can see if you're adding a new package, you simply do npm, uh, you just simply uh, pnpm add. So we just be using add. You can see you have add global, add the save uh, dependencies okay dev dependencies okay so this is how you do it uh you do add so it's just like the way you see pnp uh the way you see and uh, if you're just like installing assets you just simply do pnpm install if you just like a new project you have just cloned from github uh update so you just are going to be using uh some of these things to reference as we're installing the our project okay so it has finished i can just say simply cd into the full stack and then it's a code dot i'm just going to open this in the vs code okay and i'm just going to simply run this uh terminal i'm just going to open the terminal like this and uh the first thing now you can just check here we have in the package you can see it has this and you can say i think pnpm pnpm and i think you can say run dave or you can just say pnpm dave i think you don't even need to put yeah you just simply put just dave uh you don't even put word run and we have this running now on localhost uh, to result and i'm just going to open this in localhost result and i'm just going to bring the scroller to our project just as here 
Okay, so I'm just going to have a, a sorry. I'm just going to we have a new project and the first thing we're just going to install is shard. So just going to install shard for the dark mode and other reusable components. So that is the first thing. So head to shard. And it's going to be now somehow uh, more faster. So I'm just going to click on installation. You can just pick next JS and simply start by now we have pnpm now we use pnpm i'm just going to open new tab i'm just going to do this okay so you can just see they have uh the way they're using pnpm and they're not even asking any question wow okay uh, so i think we'll just get used to this okay um okay uh just default slate yes okay so as this installing i'm just going to install dark mode so just simply click on the dark mode i uh, just like this and let's start with installing the next theme so clear this and let's install here uh, this next themes uh, go uh, and create this theme provider so components theme provider so i'm just going to go ahead and create this you can just copy this this will create for us the folder plus the file so you can just go in this okay we already have the components actually they don't have anything but they are there so we can simply create the theme provider.tsx copy this and inside here i'm just going to say theme provider.tsx and let's go ahead and put this code just like this Okay, just I'm just going to drop this down. And uh, next, wrap. Okay, so we have this theme provider. So we might just have other providers. So what I just normally like is creating one for the all providers. So you can just say here a providers dot tsx. Okay, so we'll be using a uh, this uh the theme provider i'm just going to copy this the way it is here okay so you can just say rfc and you can just see providers they will take in children so you can say children and then these children are from react node so i'm just going to say here react node and i'm just going to simply put here this you can wrap the theme provider from next themes as you can see here the imported theme provider from uh I think from components theme for uh provider, not from next themes. Uh, the one that uses next themes is this one. Okay. I guess this one must be getting it. Yeah, you can see. So instead, the one we're using here is coming from this here. Okay, so we'll be adding all other providers in that that would be so much uh helpful so after this then wrap this in uh we're just going to wrap this in a, uh we'll wrap this in the layout so the layout we're just going to go to the layout and i'm just going to first add the suppress okay suppress hydration so i'll just go to the layout up uh, layout and uh, in the layout just first go to the html here and add this 
and then while we have these children we're just going to wrap it with our providers okay just like this okay um i think that's the that's the uh, most important now we actually create this uh mod togo so i'm just going to create this also mod togo so copy this we said just actually edit that uh html okay this one i think it will be okay so in the components i'm just going to create the mod uh, togo and these days, uh, creating the component names, I am seeing there is a, uh, I think it's a recommended that we use small, but I'm just seeing like all the, uh, all the senior developers using this format of small letters these days. Mod toggle dot TSX, but the component of course remains in, uh, capital. So then here we have to install this and uh, some of these uh components for instance the button and the drop down so just go ahead and for this one here we are done just simply go to the button so you can just go down here to the button and just click on installation and let's go ahead and copy with pnpm okay and inst uh, install this uh, just to go to the terminal. Uh, let's clear. Okay, so just adding the button A plus the drop down. Okay, and the drop down menu. Okay, drop down menu. So just here go to installation and i'm just going to simply copy the pnpm just like this okay and that was the last one and you can just test this by just getting this mod togo and we put like anywhere in our app i'm just going to go to the home here and Put any div here, and I'm just going to bring the mod a toggle from the components like this. Now, if I just go back to our app, and you can just see we have dark and light. Uh, great, that is really nice. Okay, um, uh, though, uh, ours, as you can see, the button does not look like uh, this one we have just like to edit uh, to edit it a little bit okay it is much bigger than this okay uh, it is going to be much bigger than this but they just like wait a second we shall just do that okay so the first thing i'm just going to work on is that we have a video background okay we have a video background now um it is something i rarely see in the uh the stuff but yes you can see there is a video background okay um if you want to get a uh, these videos you can just first of all right click i will leave the link to this okay you'll be having this one so you can just like right click and you just click on maybe save so that you can see when here there is open a video in a new tab just like this and you have the video okay you can just go ahead and just like download or save this i already have it and there are two videos if you just go to the light mode click on this it shows another video actually so there are two videos for that matter you can see this one so they have two videos i have an idea of how to add a video in maybe see how to uh how to add i know how to add a video in html but 
Is there any best way to add it in Tailwind, basically, maybe? Uh, you may just like there's a better way how to do this. And not install YouTube. A Tailwind CSS video for React. I'm just going to try to add it just the way it is and we'll see if anything will be okay. Um, I'm seeing something here to do with... I decided uh, to give Flowbyte a try. And today we're going to look what Flowbyte is, why we should consider using okay, Flowbyte. I decided yes, like to give Flowbyte a try. And how it can help. And today we're going to look at what Flowbyte yeah. is, of the why we should consider using I'm Flowbyte here on for the project, of and Flowbyte. how it can help speed up the development process of the project. I'm here on the landing page of Flowbyte. I decided to okay so they have these things here with an height uh, okay so i think that is like a really nice we have something to look like i think yes like it is the normal video of html there is nothing big you have to to worry about as you can see here um you have the video uh however much this is not you can control the width also like that okay so we just want it to be uh, muted by default so we can just say you just start with this okay so if i just like put this so i'll first get the two videos download the two videos i think i already have them in downloads i'm just going to say video or something yeah, I have these two videos here. I'm just going to I go ahead and name them. Go in this project public, and I'm just going to say uh, videos, maybe. And just going to create a folder called videos and put them in. And then here I'm just going to say rename this one to one is dark mode i don't know which one is dark mode okay this one is the light so i'm just going to say here rename this i rename this to light and then this one to dark uh just like to dark that would be the uh, one of the again the largest logic we are going to face to show the two videos in that way. Okay, that means if I just go on to the, uh, if I just go to the home here and I'm just going to paste in this uh, here, the video, we could also just like look at other places. Okay. I just like this same exact same thing. Okay, you have these here. I'm just going to simply just add them like this. Okay. Uh, so uh, we just simply need to put the source of this. Now, since we are using a the path, I think we can just say put slash um slash videos. Did I just say videos? Let's first check in public videos. Uh, public videos and inside the videos we have the one of so right now it's okay, it doesn't matter. We can just do the one of light dot mp4, I guess. Dot mp4. Uh, let's check confirm. Yeah, so we have light dot mp4. And if you see this text, your browser does not support the video tag. Uh, I, I don't think those browsers still exist up to now. Uh, so we can say here we have autoplay, autoplay, and you simply, I think you pass uh, these uh, controls and then autoplay. So just going to pass uh, here controls, then here autoplay. Okay. 
and then muted we pass simply muted also so you can just pass another tag which says muted uh, we don't want it to have any sound muted okay let's just go to the browser and see if we have anything uh, so far I wanted it to have autoplay, but I'm not seeing it playing. Uh, currently, the view itself is, I don't know. Oh, okay, so here we go. Yeah, so we have our video, as you can see, right? Yeah, so, um, now the only thing we just need to make it i think obviously just have to make it to fit in and i think also give it position fixed and so on and so forth okay so i can just like put it in a container and we fix it we don't want these ones to be moving now uh, let's do that i have this video i don't know if i can just like, give it uh fixed the good thing it has already height for okay i'm just gonna say top zero uh let's see okay this is uh what happens um even with width is full okay uh when we just like refresh and I think we can just also just say loop. So if you see when it finishes uh, playing, uh, let's see. When it finishes to play, it goes to, yeah. So I think we can also, I think, add loop. I think it has a something like loop. So loop, I think, supposed to, like, uh, if you start, then like, you're supposed to, to continue, I'm just move it here. Yeah, so it keeps on starting. And we also don't want to see the controls. We don't want to see the controls. So you can just say here controls uh, off. Or you could just say, I think you could force. So controls are gone. And then uh, for the width, I don't know if we this screen would maybe be a better thing. I don't know. Uh, uh the difference is it's not doing anything. I would just like want to put a uh, a border uh border red. maybe 600 and i'm just going to make this border of five maybe i don't think that an adjuster like, works like that um how about a lift a lift zero and then a right zero I just need to just like sort of like expand. I think this is just it's like normal, uh, normal stuff. But if you just look at this, uh, now that we are building this, uh, you can just like inspect. Okay. Uh, it is very hard to get the video, but you can just see. First of all, we have autoplay muted. A loop okay and then we have um this play in line plays in line what is is it having like something like that plays yeah so there is plays in line um that is one thing you can always just like if you're cloning something you can just copy that 
Okay, and then now uh, we have, of course, the two of them, uh, which is a really uh, nice, the one of the dark and the one in the light. We're just going to look at that. So we have two classes. This is a PG video light. I will just want to look at those ones. First of all, we can look at this background video. And you can look at this. Okay. Um, I'm just going to have this. And position fixed, top, left, width, and height, and overflow hidden. I think this one was this we're giving here. Uh, I think they are made to have uh, for its container. So I'm just going to have here dot and paste these classes. And you can just cut this. Oh. Oh, okay. Just like this. So it has. Uh, it has a position fix, top left, width and height 100%, top left, uh, which are already given, and the last one is overflow hidden. So here I'm just going to say overflow. I guess we must be having overflow hidden. Uh, height full, uh, we don't need the border. Uh, with this full rounded fixed top and uh, just like that okay hey, this is just like really nice so they are about like five properties six properties and we all have those ones hey we don't need even to round it fixed top left fixed top left right so you have also to have right of uh, zero where am i writing ring uh right zero just like that and this is just like a where these two videos are placed so now we have uh, these other ones like this PG video. Okay. Um, if you look at this class, I guess uh, we have this one is having position absolute. Okay. So that means this one has to be having also bg video dark or past zero this is how they are hiding it but we said just also hide it uh here on the video it has position absolute left right top with everything uh just go and give this one so um i will try to give uh, to one of the videos uh so it has to have absolute absolute and if you just give it absolute i think this one uh, gets fixed i get uh, no sorry gets position relative do we need to do that what it is fixed on it uh, okay so it's okay so this one gets absolute and then um left zero right zero a uh, not right it's just like left and top uh, left then top and then uh we're just going to give width is full and then we give also height full and uh, then object fit so object fit cover and then uh, object position how do they give object position a uh, uh, object position i think i'm saying here object center and then finally transition okay you can just say for instance transition 
a transition or and then 300 so this one is duration so you can just say duration 300 that is 0.3 seconds okay mm -hmm. and yeah uh, so this is what the video uh, is having uh, one video like this i think that's it okay let's look at what is happening and yep so you see we have the video and it is in the full mode so the only one thing we want to do is to be able to actually give it if i click on dark to change the video so what we can also do is showing the two videos okay uh is we're just going to click and show uh, within this we have two videos so i'm just going to give this another video just like so so i want to show one video uh, at a time if it is light mode or if it is dark mode first of all so we're just going to use the theme provider we can use a theme provider and <clears throat> um if that is the case then i'm just going to transform this component into the video background so i'll just cut all this uh, going to components and i'm just going to say video uh, background video background the tsx just like this rfc and then we're just going to simply return this okay and this one is going to be video capital v background just like this okay so what we just need to do is having access to the theme provider better we can just like return this go to the page and let's put the video video background from components just like this so i those days we used to access the theme using what so if you're just going to say thing uh next themes you can say next themes um next themes a uh, as the package we used to have access to we, we can have access to the theme provider i guess so if you go what is the page for the usage and uh, i just go maybe to the github we can maybe find there something okay you, i guess we have access to it should give us yeah so we have access to this right we have access to this i think even in the theme provider are they using in the mod togo let's see yeah so you can see there is theme and set theme so you can just use this okay and you can see this one just using the set theme so we can just use that very one in the video background we can access this okay uh, this from next teams and let's make this one a client component by using use client i'm just going to also get the theme just like this and in fact we don't need say theme we just simply you need the theme itself so we have two themes and you can just say if the theme okay uh you just to do this if the theme is equal to light then if this is true we can just go ahead and show one video and of course then we can show and this is the same way you do if you have want to change the images uh, similarly you can do this for the background images um i think here we just need to change this is if it is light and then if it is dark 
So here just say do this dark dot mp4. If I just go back, so in the dark mode right now, I think we in the dark mode. If I just say light. Oh. Uh. So like uh, just like not having uh, this. Uh, let's just first make sure we have the right videos. Okay. I'm just going to consider the logo so the theme. Okay. Um I will just simply go and inspect. Okay, so right now we're in the light. And you just can just go ahead and just change to dark. And it has changed to dark, but the videos are not switching. Uh, I think probably that's why uh, this person... Um, we could just like simply leave all of them in there um, i think it is just a matter of loading so for instance if i just convert back to light and i'm losing my button oh so, uh, i'm just going to see light and if i refresh uh i don't know like it is trying a uh, source did not much and it seems like something is not right and uh, let's see videos like videos mp4 and by the way, let's first test all the videos if they are actually uh, playing under normal circumstances. That is putting them there and they are not actually playing. For instance, let me just try this. Just putting this there. And let me first cut this so that we see is it playing, first of all. Okay, so it is a praying actually just like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we could also just only change the source, I think. Do we need to really manipulate? We could just like change here the source. Uh only actually. Uh but um so if you just say dark uh, it is how it takes time uh, if you can notice it does not just simply change okay uh what we can do is we can't just like put them to uh just simply this dark one and the light one okay just like this we put both of them um so even if they're just like two of them just like this one is light i just going to make this one to be light Okay, so I just want to simply say that <clears throat> we can also go with, if for instance we give this one, if you remember visibility, I guess if you remember in this one, there is this opacity zero and visibility hidden. Okay. There is this class video dark and then video light. So if you just look at the video, BG video dark, 
and then bg video light um it is the one is like switching the classes um bg video dark has a opacity of zero so if we just say like in light mode you can see if i put back in the dark mode and then the it the bg video dark switches okay and then then the one for the light now has the one of or past of zero and visibility so uh basically we are playing with those two properties opacity and visibility so i will just go to one of these ones and i'm just going to give uh for instance let's give this one um first of all i'm just going to comment out one so that we just know this one works i just go back to this refresh okay so now we can just say opacity of zero and visibility i think visibility is controlled by hidden let me first see this a uh, hidden is disciplinar no and you want visibility uh, visibility do they have invisible oh they actually have invisible yeah so past zero and invisible here uh, if we just go it is gone okay uh so if i had another one uh, like this one it would i think continue playing yeah uh, okay so to do hide this one we're just going to use a helper class so i'm just going to come here so this is the light one i am just going to simply cut all these and put them in cn okay cn is the one that can merge so by default we'll have these ones okay but if the theme uh, is equal to dark if the theme is equal to dark then in fact, you could just say and 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 then you add these ones. Uh, you pass to zero and invisible. Okay, I'm uh, just going to do the same logic to the downer one. Okay. Uh, so here I'm just going to say that. Um, copy this. So under some circumstances, we just say use CN and we pass this. But if the theme is equal to light, uh, spelling of light, if it is equal to light and this is true, then we can add opacity zero and invisible okay uh like we are trying to so right now we are in which mode light mode and let's switch to dark mode yeah so we have them good okay uh so now we can switch between light mode and the dark mode great so having done this i'm just going to do the second thing here is doing some layouts here okay so this when someone goes to the home page here he sees this home page we need just to put the site where we're going to have also the dashboard so i'm just going to have in this i'm creating a group 
So in this, we're just going to have these two groups. We're just going to have the one of maybe we just call it home. Okay, the home page, and then we create another group. We is going to be for the dashboard. So I'm just going to say dashboard group. So you have two groups. I'm just going to drop this page inside the home. Okay, just like this. And also, um, so inside this, I'm just going to, since we're just into here, you can also go ahead and you create another one folder for status. It's good that a uh, go back to the base practices. So the status should go inside the status like this. Now, actually, mm, yeah, I just like put it in our status just like this. And just simply go to the layout and point the right place. You can just say dot slash and use the status global.css. So everything should just remain working. And it is okay now. Uh okay, after this we have two layouts. So in the first this home, I also give it uh, it will have its own uh, layout, okay? If you want to customize anything to this, so here I'm just going to say layout dot tsx rfc, and we just have h2. I'm just going to, first of all, call this one as home layout, okay? And you can just simply give it also children. And then I'm just going to come here and say children uh, of React node. Okay, just pass these children here. Just like this. And to note this is working, I'm just going to say here this is the home layout. Okay, home layout. I'm just going to copy the same thing into the dashboard. So in the dashboard, I'm just going to create one folder for the dashboard, actually, dash code. Then inside, I'm just going to put page.tsx, page.tsx, RFC. I'm just going to say, H2, welcome to the dashboard, welcome to the dashboard. Okay, and then um, in this, I'm just also going to drop the layout. We could just say copy this actually, and then let's go ahead and put it in the dashboard layout, just like this. And I'm just going to say dashboard. Dashboard, and then even here, just change this to dashboard layout. Okay, and so to check uh, all of these, you can just go to the home. You must have something here saying home layout. Just going to refresh. Okay, so uh, there is a possibility that this is behind. Mm. Uh, let's first go to the page. I'm just going to write something here, H2, welcome. Okay, so you can see everything seems actually to be behind this. That means in the video background, maybe, and if you just give the Z index of minus, Okay, I'm just going to see minus 50, I guess. Uh, like, just make sure like, everything is, it is just like the most below thing. Okay, so now you can see things are on top here, uh, which is great. 
and you can see we have this one says home layout which comes from the layout and if i go to the dashboard if you go to the dashboard you will see that in the dashboard we have dashboard layout and welcome to the dashboard so this is great okay if you just go to the home you have this uh that is great um i'm just going to go ahead and uh start now with uh, the home which is actually easy we start with the home i guess and you can just go in the light mode or any any mode it doesn't matter so i would want to also put my i think it's good that we put our classes i guess like uh, the color primary and secondary because these are like this guy will be using these ones like all over the place so you can see that just like everywhere so i think it's good that we put these uh, classes in the layout and uh, so you just got tailwind a tailwind website and uh, when it comes to customizing colors uh, if you just go this side okay uh, down here you can see that they tell you in the table config you can just go in the theme and you can put the colors so you can put the custom colors for instance you can put color transparent this midnight method here and blah blah you can put the colors and you can use them like this you can also put the color object just like this okay and then you could just like put this uh, you can put a color you give the light the default and this okay mm. okay so we have to choose uh, which one we want to use for instance you can have colors and then you have like for instance primary and then on that primary you can see the light dark part of it i think this one i'm just going to use this so if i just go back to tailwind config i'm just going to scroll down to you can see there is theme container extend okay um now for because we're going to be using uh some buttons i don't know if we're just going to it doesn't look like we're going to be using much like the we might just need to create our own buttons if you just look at this most of the things it uh, looks very much custom right they will create most of the things on our own so we might just need to create uh, this i want just this uh more especially this color okay so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, create this color as the color object the way they say here under theme i'm just going to go ahead and copy this object let me see i think this is the one <laughs> now you can just come here and you put the colors okay so instead i will just going to name this as primary okay so what is going to be our primary color i'm just going to come here and get it it looks like it is lime 
if I just go here and this color, I want to get this color here. Okay, just copy this. Okay, so the default one is this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, I don't know the dark part of it or the light part of it. Now, we could also just go on, on this and we look at the color we just want to use in all these ones. It doesn't look like to be green. It is also not lime. Uh, we can just like, choose to use our own color instead, so long as we stick to the light colors. I'm going to close the speaker. Can I just escape? I'm just going to instead use maybe lime. Yeah, lime would match with this. So I'm just going to choose lime 500 to be the default. Okay, just like this, lime 500. We're just going to get a dark part of it, maybe 600 and the light part of it 200 maybe i don't know so the dark part of it and then the light part of it which is maybe 300 and maybe we say 200 And then the middle one is going to be maybe 400. Okay, so we have our primary default, dark and light. Okay. And then I think others, we can just use the normal colors. I, we don't need to create uh, other colors. Uh, basically, that's the only color that is... Uh, more into other things okay great so having done that uh we're just going to start with the bit of it so if you just look at this okay if you just look at this um ours is going to be fixed i want this part to be fixed this one here and then this one to be movable right now everything actually just moves which actually doesn't make sense right like if everything moves like doesn't make sense we're just going to make this part to be fixed like this and this is the only part that's going to be actually moving okay and the good thing is that we're having it as one page and as you can see they just simply scroll so which is okay um i'm just going to have a grid okay a grid here i'm just going to have a grid so i will go back in the home so just minimize this page so we have this video background we can put anything we want now anywhere okay so i will start putting the parts that i want so let's start by putting a grid okay and this grid is going to have grid calls 12 so i'm just going to say grid calls 12 okay just like this so in the first grid the grid calls, uh, let's give it about four. And then the other one is going to have eight. So this one is going to be having the fixed, it is the one is having the fixed sidebar. And then this one is is having the website content. Website content 
Okay, uh, if you just go here, the fixed sidebar and the website content, let's give them some backgrounds. A, B, G, green, 500, and this one, B, G, red, 600. Oh. Okay, so after putting the other thing, a other colors are not working. No, that's not what we want, guys. Okay. Um, we don't want to have um, the colors. So if you just do this, it as as if you have to use only these ones. Uh, no, I think they they supposed to use this the way they did here, extend. So instead, um, because because if we do this, we'll be forced to give colors everywhere. So I'm not going to do this. Let me comment this first. Okay. Okay, so you can see this. I think this is a good size. Yeah. And uh, this is a good size. Okay. Uh, I will go to... I will just go to this. Give padding Y of about maybe eight. Uh, PX zero. If you just look at, uh, if you just look at this, um, if you just look at this, it is this space here on top. Okay. <clears throat> I guess which is a uh, the container. We could just use somewhere uh, a container. I guess. If we use a container, I could just put this padding. I could just put this padding here. And let me also take something off the layout so that we see the right picture. Uh, this layout, I don't think it is also going to be helpful since we have one page. Okay, so we have this scenario right now. Uh, there is some space on top, which is great. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I just go back to page, maybe this is too much. Maybe I just say four. Okay, so we have, uh, okay. We have our container in which allows us not to touch the sides. I think even here, do here touch the sides, we don't have two. Okay, so just start with the fixed side uh, sidebar. So in the sidebar, we have this plus this, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and create the fixed sidebar. And say here, the components, I'm just going to say fixed sidebar to tsx rfc i'm just going to say this fixed sidebar and this one is also going to be a grid so i'm just going to say class name okay and this is going to be grid. Uh, if you look at it, uh, this, uh, maybe we could just uh, give it flex, I don't know. Cause um, I'm just going to, we're just going to use flex here. 
uh, yes use flex okay so flex we need the two divs the one that is having the mod toggle so you're just going to have mod toggle and then uh, it has the menu so we have the menu we have the mod to go and then we have the navigation the navigation okay so let's have to use the menu uh, if you look at this uh, even these icons i are animated okay i'm just going to put a definitely button okay so i'm just going to say here a button and so if you want to animate this i don't know if it is really necessary to to animate these you would just put this pan and then on hover maybe you give them inside here we could just say flex uh, this button actually could be of class name flex uh, flex call and a gap of maybe two so you could just like go ahead and put the three span tags uh, times three sorry times three just like that and then we could just go ahead and give them a class name okay if we just give it maybe widths of 10 and then a height of one pixel and then like bg slate 50 just like this uh, okay uh they just look at that okay first bring this this fixed side of uh let's bring it to the page uh where we have this okay so you can see the button is there I'm just going to go ahead and give it like a BG of black. Uh, this button, let's <clears throat> give it BG uh, slate 900. A padding of two. Okay, so this is how uh, it looks like and make sure that these ones you give them also something of like freaks i think it's like freaks link zero okay to make sure that uh, you don't have them shrinking or anything okay so I don't know if the height of one pixel is okay. I just say two pixel here. Okay, yes, I just say let's go with a thing with that. And I think we can just say we can just say go with that yeah we could just even just go ahead and just say one point something okay i'm just going to go ahead and also with it i'm just going to make it i think eight they look like they are too long And then we can also just give them a gap of one. Hmm. 
gap of two, uh, maybe 1.5. I think it is there. Yeah. So uh, we have this. I'm just going to go ahead and you can see, for instance, on Hoover. Okay. I think here we could just create a group. Um, I think you simply put here just like a group. Um, just like go in this and we like group. So you just create a group, then you can just say group over. Okay, so just create a group here, and then on these ones, a group over. Uh, you can just send BG into maybe um it was lime 500 something like this i think for all of them okay so you can see you have the hoover going on and uh, really well and now and by the way it's just like uh, we're going to design in the dark mode that would be really much better so that when we go to light mode we change so we have this and now we also have uh by default some of these ones uh it is the first one and last one so this one we're just going to give it width of four also the last one with this of four and then on group over we give them full width just something like this okay So first of all, this one I'm just going to make it nine. It's nine. There's nine exist here. And then this one we have about six, and then the other one four. Okay. And then on group hover, for instance, here group uh, hover. Also, just want to change width to nine and the same thing on the last one i just have the transition okay i don't know if the transition has to be on this Yes, a duration of 500 i think has to be in the it has to be in the actual items let me see okay uh, let's just see yeah And that one is a really nice, just like this. Uh, the middle one, uh, they have all height the same, but I don't know why. 
Uh, I don't know why they behave like that. Maybe we just give item center, just five center. I don't know. Okay, so maybe here items uh flexed flex start is this one create flex start maybe something like that align items flex start yeah Okay, so the the button is rounded. Uh, maybe we just say rounded full or something. I don't know if that is like rounded full. Uh, they don't look like they are rounded full. So if we just give this, they can with it. Okay. Just maybe 16. about 14 and let's give flex just five center i guess yeah uh and then this is rounded forty pixels and uh, if this one also is uh wax maybe let's say uh, 20 pixels yeah i think that's the roundness that is there about 25 maybe let's take to 20. okay okay so we have this button similarly uh we have the one for the dark mode is in this similar I guess in the similar shape and it also has some good padding uh, we have padding of two We're just going to make maybe padding of six Let's make it padding of 4 and let's also increase on this to 16. Yeah, I think that is really great. So, just going to similarly create the same button but for the dark mode. So, basically, I will have to copy this and take them to the theme here model here uh where we have this um the drop down we still want it i don't know if we actually need the drop down 
I'm not so sure if we need the drop down because in the other one you simply click this one when ours when you click you have to select this one has two models you have just like the light mode and the dark mode as simple as that and we're just going to make it like that and i have to modify this and the easy way to modify is only remaining with these uh buttons okay i'm just going to remain with this button and i will just now give so there will have to be now two buttons okay because one has to show dark another one so two buttons like that uh, one showing the sign another one the moon so i'm just going to do this and then also to this one we have this and this uh, in the first one we have the sun this one you have to have the moon just like this okay so i will put the one set theme to light so this one set theme to light is going to be on the on the sun is it on the sun or maybe on this when it is dark and it is in the moon so for instance right now we're in the dark we are seeing the light when we have the light mode we see the dark so in terms of the icons when you see uh, the sun you are putting in the dark and when you see the moon you want to put to so to light uh, similarly this one has to go to the one which has the sun just like this so i'm just going to cut these buttons instead so go ahead and cut just like this and i will return the fragments just like that inside the fragments i'm just going to also access the theme okay so here i'm just going to say if the theme Uh, is equal light and this is true then one so one button so if it is light we want to the the one with the light maybe one so the sun icon do we see the sun icon or the moon icon so the moon icon i don't know which i just like uh put them right in a second but let me first so the icons okay so just like this uh let's see if we're seeing the right icon Uh, the where are the icons the icons are just like in position absolute and so on and so forth Let me just give these ones class name in a second. 
Uh, we're just going to change them in a second. Uh, we have two buttons. Mm. Okay, let me just go and I put my own button. So I will copy the class from this sidebar. I'm just going to copy this class. Okay, so I'm just going to here and just make this a normal button. I don't need to make this uh, the class name, just this one. Remove variant and this. Okay, I'm just going to put the moon icon. Okay, uh, let me just give it with this four. Height for and take flexing zero, just like this. Similarly to this button, give it this class. These two, just remove them. This an icon. Let me just go ahead and give them to H four. With this for freak sitting zero. Now uh, just going to remove this. Uh, okay, let's see now. Okay, I don't know why. Okay, we have one in the in the page. Uh, let's just go and remove this one in the page. This, because that's why we are seeing two of them. Okay, I'm just seeing that. I'm just going to increase a little bit, maybe on the icon six. And even this one six. Uh, the click doesn't work is yet. Okay. Uh, let's see what does the click say. Set the theme dark. Set the theme light. Okay, we can just first go and check in the console if something is happening. Okay, I remember this is who are consoling the theme. Warning, prop class name with not much server, absolute. Uh, let's console the theme here. Console it through theme. Okay, this is use clients console theme. So it is dark. If I click these buttons and not working. So these of setting the theme are not working. Why? Oh. If the theme is light, uh, we need to set it to dark, I guess. It is set it to light. Uh, it might just like be instead just like doing it like vice versa. So if you just like this, now you can see it has changed to light, and just it is back to dark. So just go here. The moon icon, I don't know why this one is not having the right colors. Okay. I'm just going to come here and say text. 
and text slate 50 and then also this text slate 50 okay uh, let's see the, the icons the moon the yeah i think uh, that is cool on it just like this button in the dark is showing that <clears throat> if you just click here in the dark and this even icon has a hover so this is the dark the dark actually is uh, let's start with this dark we are seeing the sun so we are seeing the sun where are we seeing the sun here first of all and if we just like hover text and it becomes text line 500 okay and you see duration 300 and this is over Okay. I think this is a, again a uh, dark. Okay. Uh, just like it is just like a dark. <laughs> Hoover. Just like this. Okay. And then. Uh, the light. First of all, the BG has to be. Uh, white the hoover remains the same I'm just going to copy this Just going to see here over. And I think uh, we don't need to put uh, this, and um, even if it is in the light. I guess. So the hoover is the weather in the light. Okay. Um, then let's go ahead and the, make this one have a BG. So this one have BG slate 50. Uh, text slate 900. Great. I'm just going to push them uh, away just a little bit. So the side we can use some uh, PX of maybe three. Can be just a little bit. Just to push them away from the wall. Okay. Then uh, I'm just going to separate them. Okay. All these ones, they we might just put them in flex. So we have. We have this button and this one. I'm just going to say space X. Just space 
y of maybe 4. Okay, that one would give some spacing. Okay, uh, so one thing that is remaining is the navigation. So I'm just going to put this navigation. Okay, so we have the navigation here, and it's going to sort of be just like this. So we have a bunch of uh, like icons okay there are going to be links with icons so i'm just going to put a link which is the next link is href i'm just going to go ahead and put one icon for instance, user. So I just want to say user. Maybe edit. Uh, let's see. What is that? Uh, okay, that is the one. And by the way, they have a. They have no background, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove the, this weird green thing. This one, they are using the normal background. Okay, as you can see them. So this I'm just going to give it, of course, in this sidebar just a second okay let's uh, move on so just like working on or adding this stuff here the so i'm just going to work on that icon icon is also in the same i will just copy this okay uh give this class name just like this and let's go back to the dark mode so you can see it has that bg slate 900 uh first of all so for the icon itself it has i think a i'm just going to give the bg slate i'm just going to cut this and i'm just going to add it to this one okay in the dark and then the light mode is going to be BG slate 50. And for this one, uh, the BG, I think, they just say in the dark, is also just the same BG slate 900. Bg slate 900, I think we're just going to say uh, like 95 or 90. And then in the light, is going to have Bg slate 50, and maybe we just say 90 or so. We can you know, take a look. Uh, let me make it dark. Uh, maybe here I'm just going to 
so it uh, make it 70 let me see if it makes sense okay so if you make it 10 does it now make sense mm. okay let me just make it green seems like this is not being seen and in the dark mode actually so let me make it green like 600 i want to see it okay okay i think it's just like uh, really big that we cannot see it so the it has to be relatively smaller so this one is for it it will have so this one is going to have with it uh, of 16 and then this one I'm just going to reduce it to let's go back to this I'm just going to make this thin Can you just say maybe 14? This way, put some padding on this PX. I'll just say padding of 4. Okay, it has to uh, these other ones, these ones have to be having maybe twelve. And they, you know, they just give this flex. Just to try to put them in the center. Uh, so it seems like navigation needs to be, let me just make it like 18, is 18? Okay, and I'm just going to give it that, maybe with this of 20. just take it back to 16 yeah i think 16 is okay and let's give it this rounded full yeah for it has i think rounded full Okay. 
This one, I'm just going to give it the BG slate. Uh, 900 so let me be at 50 we just try 30 10 Okay, I think that one is okay. I just say 600 and here 5. Okay, I'm just going to leave it uh, like that, I guess. We could also just like if we added like a border on this. I think like uh, that one is okay. And then the icons as usual in the dark. In the dark, they have to change. And you can also make it, I think, a group hover instead. Uh, not a group hover, it has to be a hover actually on this icon. So if we just say hover uh, text time 500, if uh, you say duration 300. Okay. Uh, let me just give a class. This will give it with this four height four. And the this one I have to give it item center. Make this six. Yeah. Okay, so we can just like make them many. We can just come here and they say const nav items is equal to. I'm just going to create an array. So these ones they have, as you can see icons and the h wave so you just have the h wave okay we have h wave they have h wave they just say hash for now then icon we're just going to say for instance this And I just also give title. Maybe this is about okay. So if you just come here, we could just also put the title actually here, like in a span. And you say about, but then you give it a class. A class name screen readers. So this is screen readers only uh, for purposes, but in terms of that, it doesn't. 
okay in the light mode we might just maybe need to remove that border we could just like yeah, in the light mode maybe So in the light, uh, you say border. I just say one hundred. Uh, two hundred. Okay, so just stick to just like one hundred and then maybe fifty. I think that's a uh, that's okay. Okay, I'm just going to create as many links as possible here. So here there are how many sections? Two, three, four, five, six, uh, six, and they like six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sections. So I'm just going to come here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we just have this. And uh, first one is a bug. The second is skills. Skills. And uh, the third one is services. The fourth one is projects. And then resume articles. So we have resume. And then articles. And finally, the contact. Uh, let's get the icons for those ones. I'm just going to go to Rusit. Um, I start with the one of the envelope or oh, message. This one, send. So this one is going to be the send. Uh, blogs. They could write. So the blogs are uh, just going to use uh, this one's notebook pen. I'm just going to go here and say not book 10. My resume. Okay. Uh, Notebook text and square pen. So square pen is what I'm just going to put on article square. Square. Uh, 
Okay, and then this one, I'm just going to say notebook text. Then we have projects. <clears throat> I'm just going to use the layout. Layout panel top. Then we have services. Mm. I'm just going to use grid or blocks. Then we have skills. I'm just going to use this hand coins. Say gym. I just use this one, the dumbbell. Okay, so the about the uh, two times. Okay, so we just done. Uh, let's go ahead and map through these nav items. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and see nav items. I'm going to do it map. Uh, we have access to an item with its index. And I'm just going to return. Return this. Uh, just put the key and then for this we just going to say first of all const icon is equal to item dot icon uh, so that we can use this icon for this we just going to put href item dot href and then for the icon, I'll just use the icon. And then for this, I will use item dot title. Now, if you just look at them, they have. Uh, if you just look at these ones, they uh, they're supposed to have the actual ones they have this okay so we can just go ahead and uh, uh we can go ahead and put that okay and i don't know we can use shad so i know that is like pop over That is not pop over, I guess. That is two tip. Yeah. Uh, I think that is like a two tip. If you just want to confirm, there is, if you go to blocks, there is where they have this. This is exactly the one we want, like this. Okay, so I can just go and then see. Okay, and I don't have it in the lift. I'm just going to go check on the code. I will check where we have.
So we wrap it in the two tip. Then you have like a two tip as a child, and then the length is the trigger. So I will just get this two tip. Okay. And I'm just going to first go ahead and install it. I'm just going to put this here, I guess. Uh, let me just go and first install this to tip. Installation. I'm just going to copy the PNPM. And I'm just going to scroll up like this. <clears throat> just going to install the to tip. <clears throat> then the usage here yeah, you can just copy this first and let's edit here i can close this and moving back to this one you can now just use it here This two tip now. Okay, so just cut it. It is what we want in here. I'll cut the link. And then I just replace it with this link. Then this one is also going to be item dot title. And maybe I should give it a class name. I'm not sure if this one can take in a class name of capitalize. Okay, uh, let's just check. Uh, two tip must be wrapped within a provider. Okay, so there must be a provider, and in this case, where we copied, where do they put a provider? In the blocks. If you go back to the code, uh, scroll. In this case, there was no where they have a provider. Okay, if you just look at the actual usage. It says the two tip must be within a provider. Okay, let's just wrap it in the provider. Okay. Okay, so it says about skills. Ah, so this one's going to work. 
Okay, so the only thing I just want to do is I'm just going to give them a space Y. Of maybe two. Just to give them like spacing like that. Okay, so you can just look this is looking really awesome in the dark mode. A uh, in the dark mode we don't want that white thing. Okay. Uh, where is dark? So the border straight thing uh, yes we can say in the dark. see yeah so that is a much better in the dark okay so that part is done i'm just going to create uh this uh, responding to this now for this one so, so should just respond to that uh, it is not having the i'm going to go and give it uh, this one is only in the dark bg slate 50 of course then the text Okay. So in the light mode, okay, so this one's out to change. Instead, these ones have to have the BG slate uh, 50 in the dark. And under normal circumstances, they should have BG. Okay. okay uh the only problem is i have some inconsistencies in height i don't know if that is about which freaks uh, what type of freaks is disturbing me because the height they have the same height but Seems there's something affecting them, even when they have freak sync. I 
I don't know the one which works on flex grows zero something. If it is, this is about to grow something. I just leave them like that. Uh, that is good enough. Let's just go ahead and put this part here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put this part. So we have this box um, uh, that we have. So this is this, and then we have now this one, which has BG slate, like 900. If you look at it, it is, uh, has it is rounded at the bottom okay so rounded okay so top lift i'm just going to use md maybe or g uh, let me some put some content of Rurium for now. Text slate. Let's give us all padding. Okay. So just like this, I'm just going to go on and give padding. I will give in this, uh, this one, we will give a gap like of four. Okay. And you can see it is rounded like this. I'm just going to say XL here in the rounded. Then we can also have rounded. Uh, bottom. Just like this. So the first thing we're just going to put is putting the uh, the photo and the roundness seems to be like customized but let me just uh, put it to to XL. So I will put my image. So I'll, let me drop in my image here. Can't I see my image within these all these images here? Okay, it's here. So I'm just going to copy this image. Okay, this is the huge one. Okay. I'm just going to go here, find the image very fast. I'm just going to find the images. I'm just going to copy this, which has JB, and just come and drop it inside fabric reveal i'm just going to put here 
So going back in here, I'm just going to start by putting my image. Okay, uh, let's put the source, which is going to be slash jb.jpg. Let's put alt. Let's give it some width. I'm just going to use 200 and height 200. Let's give it a class name. Okay, it's going to be relatively bigger. Let's give it 500. Let's give it a class name. I'm going to give it width. Of like 300 pixels. So this has a relatively bigger padding, probably padding eight. Okay. Uh, it has the same border radius like this div. So I'm just going to copy this border radius here. Okay. Rounded top lift to XL. Okay, just like this. Okay. Okay, so uh, this looks uh, fine to me. Okay. I'm just going to drop in this data scientist, then my names here. So here I'm just going to say padding y of 2. Just add p dot uppercase. And you say web developer. And I'm just going to say text. Uh, line 500 in the dark mode. I don't know what this looks like in the light mode. Uh, I think it's the same. So let me just leave the text like this. You don't need to put in like that. Then put the action name now. H2. I can put the original names or I can put like Okay, I'm just going to put the, the original names. Okay, I'm just going to finish uh, this name here. That's my really correct name. 
okay so when that one is done then we have the icons of which i'm also going to actually map through so these they have almost like the same thing like these ones so i will add them here actually i think they have the same thing only these ones don't have you know so i'm just going to duplicate this i'm just going to social media icons socials social links oh. okay i'm just going to test i uh, will put this linkedin and for this one we might just change the icons because it seems like here we don't have good icons for instance there is linkedin here for instance here yeah, i'm just going to say linkedin okay the second one uh is this is a band looks like ban or something ready i'm just going to put this okay reddit i don't think i have reddit have linkedin maybe just going to put instagram and i guess i put maybe reddit actually uh, but do we have that icon here of ready? No, and I'm just going to search for Instagram instead. Okay, Instagram. This is LinkedIn. Instagram. Okay, uh, this is going to be Instagram. X or Twitter. We say X. There is that X. I don't think that is the X we want. Let's go and put Twitter. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say Twitter and finally I'm just going to put GitHub. I think it must be having GitHub. I just see here GitHub. Okay, it's here, which is GitHub actually. So, GitHub, okay. So, the remaining just yes, remove them. And let me just go and copy from this side. Now that we don't need the uh, the Hoover, we just simply copy the link. Okay. After this, I'm just going to put the guiding Y of 2 again. I'm just going to say social links, do it map, get access to an item with index. I'm going to say return, I'm just going to return this. Okay. 
uh, const icon is equal to item dot icon and the key is there and not icons icon so this one is going to have flex item center space x o2 uh, let's go and see and this bg has to be light in the light mode this is bg white or bg slate Legislate that. Okay. Um, I'm just also going to give this. It has text slate of white, and this should be only, I think, in the dark. Yeah. So you can see that in the dark mode, these are already looking amazing. Maybe we could just like reduce them a little bit to avoid the competition with the other ones, yeah. I think generally all my icons, I need to reduce them a little bit, maybe to four something. Either we just put them to four, or we put them to five. Yeah, so I think five is is okay. Then even this side. Yep. Uh, I, even I think even the dark mode, that icon, but otherwise it just looks great. And then finally we have two buttons. Uh, we have two buttons, the download CV and the contact me. And you can even see there is a PDF. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go here. We have these two, and I think this is just like they are uh, similar buttons. Okay. I'm just going to go to even this one they think between the image these they have some I think um not really uniform but these ones in the middle they uh they are all in the same yeah and these ones really you can just go ahead and give them space why they go three and then down here i'm just going to go ahead and put the buttons So I will see order top. Uh, 
and I want to put two links. Download and contact me. I'm just going to choose to hire me. Uh, let's give them a truth. Let's put hash. Then put a class name here. Uh, just a truth. So we have these two buttons. I'm just going to go ahead and give them padding top of eight. Just like that. And a margin top of four. I uh, just like to push it this little bit down. Okay. Uh, they just go ahead and balance them by giving here flex just by uh, between plus items center you cannot do all these without flex So we can just go ahead and also give them, for instance, uh, we're just going to give a class name. Uh, for instance, over text, text line, just like that. And we can just see here to uh, transition. I just say how to say duration of 300. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, if you just look at this would have given them icons right we can not necessarily really but I would want to give them some colors. So for this sense, this one, I want to give it PG line, 500 rounded full, a PY of two, PX of four, Just going to change this on to PX of six actually. Okay. Maybe text slate fifty. Okay. You give this the text supposed to be black, I guess. Put 
just give text maybe to line you 900 okay i give the a darker like this of course this maybe you say it's red the hoover Over, uh, I will just like say BG. Six hundred, maybe like simply increase it in the intensity. We could just say five hundred. then the download we could just like uh, give it uh, the same with a border so i'm just going to give it the padding and it's a border rounded full okay. in this case i think we could um i feel like we could take advantage uh but they, they look they look great uh, actually in the um, even in the dark mode i think that looks a uh, great okay uh here has to be rounded i think we made a mistake somewhere uh, if I just go to okay, I think that is a really good enough. I'm just going to bring this text everything to center. And I think we could just use a simple text line here. And for some, for instance, these ones, I just want to say just for center okay yeah they be in the center like this now it's actually working like on the name so the name we can just go to tailwind typography here h2 just copy this class here And let's go here, give it a class. Just simply remove the border button. Okay. Uh, let's look at it. Up. Okay. And the okay, and the lighting is okay. 
I think that one is is cool. Now we have this. There is some um, space given to this. So yes, we can say margin top of six. Or it could be padding top of six, whatever you want. Okay. Now we have this, it is changing. So for that, I think we're just going to install from magic UI. So you think can you say magic UI here? Uh, you can first go to the installation, react, and you can just say they say you have to have tailwind, CLX, tailwind merge, frame of motion. So I'm just going to install frame of motion. Okay, so I'm just going to say P and PM add frame of motion. Okay, done. I am just going to uh, CLX, we already have it, and that's it. Now you can just use the components. Uh, just click on components, and the, the one we want is under the text animations and we have the one that says I think what rotate I think this is the one I want okay so on this we can just installation npx okay i don't know if this you have to okay they have also pnpm uh, pnpm so you can just say like, guide and add just like that Okay, now on this, we can look at the code. We just simply want to copy this, actually. I think we would reuse it. Just going to paste it here. It hasn't been installed yet. Okay, it is still adding. Uh, it's adding this, bring in this. I'm just going to okay so while we have this developer thing I'm just going to put this uh, we have to give it some more things uh, just like this And this one is text line, whether in dark or not. It's 
אני אעשה עם הבלבופה, גרפיקס, זיינה, Okay. I'm just going to go and see if this one works. Just refresh. Okay. I don't know if it has any props uh, with it. Let's see. Uh, duration, the class name to be applied to the shima. What is, is an array? Frame of props. An object containing frame of motion props. Okay. I don't think we need anything here. And they have some other uh, other package. I think it is a something like React transition or something. For that one, I can just like maybe I might just like leave it and we just only it is changing here or so here. Maybe here I'm just going to say Things to have like uh, position. Uh, we give it like position absolute. I guess. Because uh, it cannot keep on doing uh, that. This. There is another one called react transition, I guess. React transition text. Something. It is this one. I think we can just like use a also this one and we try it and see. Uh, remember we are using PNPM. So you have to copy this. Okay, and I'm just going to say PNPM add. So I'm um, going to say PNPM At this okay as it is adding let's see how this one is used uh, basically you have an array 
So I'm just going to import the uh, get these three things here. I'm just going to drop this and uh, I'm just going to use the remove react. Uh, this one even involves a uh, use effect. Okay. And we have a X transition. I'm just going to put it inside uh, this P tag. I'm just going to put back the class. I'm just going to stop this one. Now you have the following a uh, default dental steep slow uh, the presets the it is a default one as we well see uh, we have not maybe gotten the use effect. Make sure this is using use client. I use client just like this. Okay, so this one is the a the best. Okay. Uh, we simply now use to have to use flex. Uh, let me just go into this one. Let's say flex. Uh, items uh, center. And also justify center. This to make sure that this is centered. Okay, so can you see graphic designer? So I'm just going to go to where we have the texts, and these are texts I'm just going to put them inside. I can remove this magic component. I will put these texts inside these ones. Reason being, in the future, they will be coming from the uh, from the database. Okay, so here I'm just going to put, for instance, uh, full stack developer. Uh, graphics designer. A YouTuber, a teacher. Okay, so you can just go ahead and put a you put whatever you just want to use, and the the good thing this doesn't affect the space. So this uh, is looking nice. Okay, uh, moving on, uh, now this part seems to actually be uh, somehow done, even in the light mode, uh, this still looks really great. Okay, so I'm just going to now uh, concentrate on this area, this one. 
okay uh, it is only having this side here i'm just going also to put that curve there Uh, so if you just go back to, we can just go back to the page. So if we just go back to the page, uh, you will see this is the part here. I'm just going to say rounded top right. Uh, maybe two excel okay i'll just around it this side here okay and then i'll just give it padding y and padding x i just say padding x of four py of maybe eight okay uh, that's great. And it has BG of this and then this. So here, it has BG of slate 50. And in the dark, BG slate 900. <coughs> Okay. Uh, I can add this here. And you can see that the other a part is still moving. Uh, just doing a thing probably make it fixed in a second. Okay. We'll make it fixed. Or we could just like leave it moving, I don't know. And we only fix this part here. I don't know. We, we just take, like, we'll see. And um, probably I'm just going to add on the padding. And PX is going to be 8. I'm just going to make this one 14 or 16. Okay, so the first sentence is this. Okay, so for this, we're just going to just say sections. So we'll have about, as you can hear, we have this section about. So, so I just like put uh, these sections alone. You see about section. Okay. I'm just going to paste it here like so. And then I'm just going to go back. So I'm bringing in the about section. In the about section, we have this, and then we have this heading. I'm just going to put this as H2. Uh, we have this paragraph. Okay. 
And then we have here these uh, achievements. Uh, which are almost the same. Okay. Okay. So this is just one. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it looks right now. Uh, let's start working on it. Starting in the dark mode. Hello, I am. And this, uh, uh, you're supposed to use HTML characters. Okay. I don't know if it is just HTML entity or so between this you can just add that. Uh, hello, I am so here I'm just going to put my name. Uh, this I uh, just also put in a span, and then uh, this uh, is also going to be another span. Okay, so going to the sidebar, bring exactly what we did. Uh, to about section. Use client. And if you're not hearing me very well, it's, it's raining at uh, this side. Uh, but we will move on. Uh, so I'm just going to import uh, to get one more thing. And by the way, we could just create, uh, would have created uh, a component that simply takes in, yeah, that returns this that returns this okay i'm just going to have that something that returns this that you simply put in and it returns this so We have them in two places, but just we'll say custom uh, text text transition to TSX. We cannot keep on repeating it, repeating it. So I will just simply copy this. Okay. 
Then we can just do this. Okay. And then we just simply want to return this. Return. I'm just going to return this. Okay, so now if you just look at this, this is an array of strings, just like this. Okay, here I'm just going to pass in the words. Okay. I just going to pass in the words and these words. They just say an array of strings and then I will cut this. And I just say text is equal to words. So everything remains the same. Uh, so I'm just going to use this custom transition in the save bar. So here I will just do okay. I'm just going to pass in the words. So the words, we can pass them to here. In this case, it's texts. We don't need this now. Oh, we need the texts. We just don't need this. Okay, let's just check. They are still working. So just going to apply the same thing here. I'm just going to go to the about. Just remove this. And also the use effect. So we are just going to have the custom Okay. So we have also these ones. Now, I just want this to be not to be like this. I don't want this one on a new line. Uh, right now, it is going on a new line. I want it to be this side. 
so either I'm just going to say okay so this one even if you just say inline block okay so right now it is okay uh, let's give it a text of line 500 just going to increase also the class name of this entire word it looks like text excel and i don't know which fonts did they use okay so we are using this uh weird phone called jakarta signs i don't know if the jakarta signs uh they have them on google yeah Um, I don't know how we can just get this uh, from uh, from Google. It is called Plus Jakarta Sands. Like there are three names. We we'll just go to the layout. Uh, this layout, and you can see here we are getting them enter. Now this jack, it starts with plus, I guess, plus Jakarta Sanders. Okay, and now we could say this, instead of enter, just get the plus, which is going to be Jakarta. the plus Jakarta Sans and here just going to use plus okay and I think it has changed to that okay and just going to go back to about section and uh, let me give this to excel i'm just going to give it easy padding Okay. Hello, I am. Okay, so even this name is included inside. Okay. I'm just going to come here and just like this.
know how to get space. I think I can use that add space. Okay, so that one is done. Then we have this, which has like, I'm just going to go to this side in typography. I'll go to H1. I will get some classes here. Okay, I'm just going to remove this scroll margin. Uh, then tracking. Uh, tracking wide. And then uh, it is not bold. Okay, and then let's give it some padding. Maybe this. I'm just going to and this. I'm just going to make it span dot bg line five hundred. Yes, I'm going to give it also PX of 4, PY of 2. Okay. I'm just going to yeah, put it at an angle. Which should it be translate? Which is supposed to be transformed. Transform. I don't know what rotate is. Let me just go to the documentation. I'm just going to say rotate. Okay, I'm just going to say rotate like 10. I can just say rotate, I'm going to say 10 degrees.
Um, I'm just going to give it also the text balance. Okay. It seems rotate is not working. I'm just going to go to rotate. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just put like uh Okay, uh, I think the word itself um, cannot rotate. Maybe if we just give it block. Uh, text balance and rotate 45. I don't know if we just give it a block if it can work. Yeah. So it has to have a a different display. And we just first see the ones which are existing here. And you could also just try the negative ones. So let's just rotate at six. Rotate at Yes, it rotates four. I'm just going to call it inline block. Okay. Um, I'm just like putting it like like that. Uh, it has to have this. This exit what font? We need to give it enough. I don't know if it is line height. Plane spacing. All in height. Is leading. Okay. So if we just say for instance leading eight. Uh, let's see.
Let's continue. I'm just going to say lose. Eselus is rain height of two. Um, instead, it is increasing the. I just for see if we have React text a highlighter. Uh, that and this one search word escape Okay, so let's see. Maybe you try to use uh, this one. I'm just going to, uh, just going to go ahead and install this one. And you can just go ahead and take a break. Uh, I'm just going to continue. P N P M. Okay. And let's go ahead and copy this highlighter. And then we have this. Could not find declarations. We can just check it. I don't know. This looks for. We have to install also this. The types. Uh, let me first. Just going to install this. I'm just going to say p n p m add. OK, 
Okay. Uh, so you can see now uh, this is gone. So if I have this and I leave only this, only one word, I think it will be the only one highlighted. I don't know where is the what is the sentence. The highlight, the highlight class. Okay, so if we just put this class here. The BG, for instance, as you can see, this one is not a properly working. I'm going to take it off. I'm just going to We might just like look for something uh, else we can use. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to take a simple break. I take some water, then I'll be back. Okay, let's continue. Uh, so on this highlighter effect, um. I've just seen this uh, from code pen. Okay. <laughs> you can see that it is this um, highlighter container. And then there is. <laughs> And uh, there is this, this is, this highlight is in the heading. So you can just see like this heading. I'm just going to copy this. Uh, let me just add it down here. Okay. Uh, just change this to class name. And then we just need to add only the CSS. Uh, the highlight, uh, highlight container. And by the way, uh, speaking of which, I know why we didn't think of uh, 
inspecting this effect why didn't we think of that and just we could just say okay uh we could just go and there is this class called board uh, if you look at it Um, is it having like it is like having a swiper or something can just see it here transform rotate at negative two degrees okay so i'm just going to use um this one i've just gotten from here uh, this css uh, let me just select it like this uh, let's go to our styles and down here i'm just going to put these tails okay so you can just see here it is highlighted actually so that means i can apply it to this one okay and if we go back to the about section you can see this and then there is this highlight uh, control c i'm just going to put it here Just going to put that scientist at this here. I'm just going to remove that. Now we could just go ahead and these glasses we simply give them. You can see highlight container and the highlight, they simply have relative highlight container and highlight so i'm just going to go back and so this and this then in the highlight container is inline block Uh, highlight container is in a block and then there is this before uh, this one is what we just going to leave here okay um, i'm just going to leave only that uh, so the, this has only this uh, class it is supposed to just simply put relative oh okay 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 Uh, let me just let's put them back the way they are. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. I'll just see if this is how it is. Okay. Uh, also put back the one we removed this side. Okay. Just going to put here the color we want, which is Between colors, uh, we just want to lay him. So the only problem is that it is not fitting in, so we can just adjust a little bit. First of all, this is going to be negative. Um, we can adjust a little bit, more especially these position absolute top. I'm just going to give maybe, uh, let me increase to three pixels and you see. Uh, top three pixels. Um, padding. So this one, you we can just like create it the way it is. It is uniform. Can you say top and bottom twelve? Maybe here fourteen pixels. Uh, border radius. I'm just going to give fifty percent. Just going to give like thirty pixels instead. Okay, uh, let me just do 16 and you see. Okay. Right. I say 100%. Margin top of three. And let's just say lift of negative five pixels.
I think that one would be okay. If you go to about section, I'm just going to remove this. Uh, if I, I can also exceed the, I want to go to this uh, I just want to give tracking white Not tracking. I want to increase line height, which is, I think, leading. So even if we increase it's as if it is not working and uh, if we put like in pixels okay it seems like um it cannot work two point five. I'm just going to leave it uh, at that. Maybe I just remove this. Uh, this rooted thing, you see. Okay. Going to remove um, that just going to go here and maybe search for line eight. Maybe we could just even extend it just like this. Okay, you can also put a bigger values like leading of three rem. Okay, let's just see. Maybe I'm not getting the meaning of it seems like it is not controlling the text within. Okay, I'm just going to leave it. I think like that when that is good enough. Okay. 
at this the line height in this one is you don't just bringing out the real thing so this text here The text here, I'm just going to select it. has a font size of 1.3 plus font size of 52 pixels Fifty two pixels uh, this is for more lace I'm just going to make this one a five. Okay. Six. Okay. Uh, this one has about 52 pixels. Let's make 6x air. I'm just going to first remove these highlighted class. I think that's how it is. Okay, this here is six. And then maybe here we're just going to make for Excel. Okay. Let's make it five. Uh, so it was originally actually five. I guess I can make it 52, uh, 52 pixels, 52 pixels, and then, then we give it bleeding. Line height. Yeah, like of one point three. Oh, uh, this is in a rain. Uh, Give it the exterior rim. Yeah, 
this is the one we want. Okay. This one is okay. Maybe even three, four point five. I'm just going to put back this. Maybe I just make it one degree. Okay, so we have uh, our text that is looking okay. So this other text here, I think this one has no problem. Really. Uh, this one, I don't think it needs anything. Just uh, uh, maybe the font size, but even the font size looks uh, looks very okay. I'm just going to I'm just increase the font size a little bit. About section. Uh, this one, class name, maybe just give it text, text there. Okay, then I just work on these by the projects. Let's work on these um, the these projects. So the uh, inflex. So this one is flex. So um, uh, you can just go ahead and give it. Uh, this. Okay, items, center, space, X of two. Okay, let's give it a padding Y of six. Just going to add padding Y here. Ninety six completed projects. Um, I think it doesn't have to be bored. And then the space between is four. I'm just going to simply make three of them costs stats. Stats uh, is equal to an array. Uh, so basically it has a title and a number. It has a title. Completed uh, projects. And then count is 10. Uh, plus force and you just like my get all these and 
two, three. Another one is years of experience and our designing years of experience. This is ninety six projects. Now doing is ten and years of experience is eight. Okay, so just go ahead and text base just going to map to do this stats dot map item index return okay The first one is the key, which is going to be I. Here, just going to be item dot count, then item dot data. So, there is what there is a plus here. So, it is on the award is winning. You just say here true. And we can just add a plus here. Can just say if item dot plus and then we add this plus. Okay. Just go and see. Okay, we have this. Uh, let's go ahead and make this a grid. So grid. Uh, grid code is three. Okay. And then for this, I don't know for the text if we just give it a class of wrap or something. Is of wrap. I don't know what this one means. I have a text balance or text wrap. That should be a text to wrap or something. Maybe we could just like they don't look nice there. We could just instead make this uh, flex score. Yeah, I think this one is uh, more more nice. And let's give it a padding of maybe 16. Okay. So that is a the about section. Is done like that. Now we go to the next, which is technical skills. Uh, so before we just continue, I want to uh, put in some magic in this. I want some beam uh, moving around. They have this effect they have on the image. So I'm also going to put one effect. 
So we can put this and mated beam. I think it is this border beam, I guess. So on the image, I'm just going to put also this border beam. We can look at the installation using the magic. Okay. You see, update the config, extend animations, and then the keyframe. So I'm just going to go to this, extend in the config. Uh, under extend animations can just first see here if there's anything like animations okay we already have animation so what you can just put is this you can just like add one more And then there is keyframes. Uh, let's just first check if the keyframe exists. Yeah, there is uh, already a keyframe here. I'm just going to copy the keyframe. Um, after doing that, and then this is the usage. Order beam. If we simply okay uh for testing purposes i'm just going to copy this uh let's go to to this side i'm just going to go to the side bar. drop this So below the image here, I just want to put this for the border beam. Okay. So basically, what we need to do is um, we can wrap this image inside uh, this. Okay. Uh, relative um, border beam relative. Uh, this one already has the width, so we simply just cut this width, and we give it to this here, and then here we give it width is full, I guess, and then height, uh, even if we leave, I guess, height, I'm not so sure. Uh, let's see, and this I'm just going to give it maybe overflow or hidden. Okay, yeah. So you can see that uh, the this uh, is following uh, the uh, the image. It might be just like something small, but 
it is something that is nice okay and then if we could customize also this beam if you go to this side uh, it has the colors here I can see you could just give it a color color flow and let's just bring our we can just bring our color tailwind colors and just bring our color here which is lime just going to bring lime 400 <laughs> and put with this okay okay then uh, we could also include it maybe they have here all the classes you could increase also like the height or something okay i'm just going to leave it at that maybe here border with it 2.5 i don't know yeah that one is okay okay and then we also have um, from this side there is also these we could just use these ones on to I could just use them here maybe at the entrance I don't know of this section and we could just like add a simple touch okay Just going to go to installation and just add this. Just add this, <coughs> and then just I'm just going to go config. So they're saying also a animation. Add this. Uh, let's go to the config uh, under animation we can add this keyframes uh, we are so adding uh, this On the keyframes, Let me just add it here. Why a number and same type string? Uh, Positive. Okay. 
Oh, this one is, I think you have to. To do this. I'm not sure if this will work because. Okay, and then finally just go and add this. So basically it is the same thing you you simply bring this and you make this and have also relative so that i'm just going to put it uh only in the about section so um in this section here I'm just going to add this here. Give this a class name of relative. Okay. Okay, so that's nice. You can see them there in our welcoming section. <clears throat> okay uh, let's move on that's enough uh magic maybe um just remaining to one of these buttons to have uh that uh, like one of these buttons anyways so there is i don't know if there is like where they have like buttons Okay, we have these uh, these buttons. We have also this. I just like try this one. Installation. That is going to be uh, okay. And then also modify the wind animation spin. So you're adding this. Yeah, adding the animation. I'm just going to go ahead and add the animation. And I think that should be the before we continue. I'm just going to go back to the tailwind config and the keyframes okay and the keyframes uh, are we adding another keyframes we are adding the animations first so here i'm just going to add this Okay, and then let's add the keyframes for the spin and also the slide. Okay, let's add the one for this slide, the spin. Spin around, so I'm just going to go here, add that, and slide. This one and then this one. So we're just going to add another one here, like so. And let's go and use the button. So go here. <laughs> so just simply have to bring this
Shima button, I'm just going to go to one of our buttons in the left fixed side bar where we have these links the one for the higher me okay i'll put this okay I just want to bring all these and paste them here. Okay. I want to look at also this button. So I think it extends the button element so it can take on a click. Yeah. The problem with this is going to complain when we add a link inside so if i come here where well, we have this let me remove all the styles okay and let me add this span inside here and let's say hire me let's first see how this one looks like okay that's not bad uh, only that Uh, dark slate. Uh, what is this? I think the gradient uh, that is working is. Let me see. Um, if I just say live, uh, the hoover is nice. Uh, you want to like in the light mode, okay. Okay. If we go to the button itself, it has a background color of this by default, and then the color is white. And I can see text in the color here the class name the button itself the problem these ones are actually just done in the styles they want to maintain them uh, i don't know if i just want to change this um, 
if I just say background how do I turn the color from the hex <clears throat> just for selecting the light mode mm. something uh, we need to do here if you just go here and you add the color itself you could just go here and you customize uh, by our color this one let's add this I think if you add that, then this one changes the problem that the the beam now is not being seen. Okay, uh, let's just leave this. The beam is visible when it is in the when it is just black when the button is black. I'm just going to add it some padding. I think by default the padding is PX of six of six. I think PSX of six is okay. Okay, let's just leave it like that and let's continue with other sections. Okay, just go to these technical skills. I'm just going to create uh, here a component, technical skills, technical uh, skills. Do TSX RFC taking skills. I'm just gonna say H2 of taking skills. Okay. So we have these ones the way you see them here. Technologies that uh, you use. I think we're just going to use uh, there is a component here we just first to see here <clears throat> there is mm, this was really nice to use uh, on the <laughs> we can still use this uh, it really looks great um, there is globe uh, globe, we're not going to use globe. I think there is here. Uh, wanted us to use these. I think this is much better. 
okay orbiting so we have this one but then we have this interactive icon cloud we're just going to use the, these ones you can put them like this okay So I'm just going to go to the installation. Yarn PNPM here. Just like this. Okay, and after the installation the there is a warning avoid using component in parent components where the component interacts with hooks or undergoes frequent state changes such interaction may lead to unexpected behavior such as continuous spinning consider creating a separate component for the section of the application that utilizes hooks you can see changes in the parent component okay uh, scroll down here so basically i'm just going to i'm just going to use uh, this component okay Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this component, of which I will also create it alone. And inside this, I'm just going to create here. I'm just going to say 3D. Just a globe icons. Three D. Just go globe icons. Do TSX. TSX. Uh, let me paste it here. Icon cloud globe. I think I just call it this one. I just add it here like that. And let's go and put it inside the We are putting it inside the technical skills. And the technical skills, I'm just going to put this. Let's see. I don't know if we have already connected it. Let me just go and connect uh, technical skills. Go back to the page and it should fall into this. Okay. Grid. I'm just going to create this one with a gap of six. And let me just go ahead 
uh, the beacon was used. Okay, uh, this is uh, how it is. I just wanted to have it to break it so that we can see how can we do that. So we have this. So I'm uh, just going to put this, but then this BG thing is not going to be here. Let me just cut it. I will just take it inside, inside this one. Should be in here. If we do that, okay we we'll have to do all the things we did in the other one. Let me just get all the styles. So page gap. So here, I'll just copy this and just go and put them in the about section. Okay, so now we have it with this one here, uh, which is great. So for this one, I'm just going to go here and we'll copy also the same styles. And go ahead and put on them on technical skills. So just do this. Okay, just like that. Uh, now, I don't know why it is having this background icon cloud. It has BG background. We can remove this BG. It has the max widths padding. Let's first see. Okay, the background is gone. So we have the shadow. Uh, so we have the border. Uh, which I'm also going to remove. Yeah. So now. I just want, we could just use them side by side with uh, maybe these ones, I don't know. Or we could instead uh, leave them, uh, have the heading. I'm just going to have this, this heading with the icon plus the title, and then I will have the group there. <coughs> Since this heading is reused plus that, I'm just going to create, I'm just going to create uh, these two. I will just create here these two uh, components, section heading. It's going to say section. Uh, section heading, the TSX. RFC, I'm just going to go here, get H2. Uh, 
I will just include more of the border here. Uh, this will take in the title. Title, which is going to be a string. And then I will use the title here. Okay, just call the section heading in the technical skill section. Okay. Try to take and skills. That is the heading. The kind of skills. Okay, there is this uh, technologies. I'm just going to copy this technologies. Okay. Okay. There is the subheading. So I'm just also going to call section. Subheading. The TSX. RFC. Um, I'm also going to start by giving it a title. Uh, title is of type string. So we're just going to return it here. Maybe H2 of the title here. Uh, just simply give it a class name. Uh, padding Y of 2, PX of six rounded four and border okay it has also an icon Okay, so just get get icon uh, icon. I'll just give it any for now. Uh, const I just say const icon is equal icon. Then I'm just going to say here icon, and then class name okay class name is going to be hateful just give this class name flex items center space x o2 okay now i just want to first go and see the in this here where we have this icon is of which type Okay, icon is having all these uh, stuff. I don't know if uh, they can accept to give all those, but I could just go to the subheading and icon. I give it to this. 
get received the props. Okay. Now we have the icon having all the classes and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and the I'm just going to go ahead and the give the overview. So the way I'm going to make this section is going to be interesting. Uh, we just put them this side. Okay. So this globe in this, uh, let me just also give section subheading. I'll give it title of technical skills, taking technical skills, and then for the icon is going to be done there. Okay. Okay, we can just like work on these tiles. Okay. Uh, the icon need to be inside. That's the only problem. In other words, these they should be on this. Okay. Okay. The problem we don't want it to do that. Just going to make this inline flex. Okay. So what I'm just going to do is we have this globe. I just want to look at the styles. It has this max width. It has PX of 20, padding bottom of 20. Let's first see. Uh, first of all, uh, if I remove padding top, Padding of this um, that's an, that's no problem. I just want to give it a border again and I see where it is uh, passing. Okay. If you look at down here, it has padding bottom of twenty. Then it has a max width, which is okay, but then uh, height of four, what does it mean? Yeah, 
uh, height we don't need it to be full okay so instead i'm just going to have a grid i'm just going to go back this side i will put this I'll put here grid. That grid calls two. And then I will give let's say gap of six. Then I will give here some other thing. Which is going to be this. Uh, these are the ones. So we're just going to create uh, this card here. And the, for the cards, um, we'll just have this card. There is even these ones. Do they have cards? But there is no cards. There is also these ones. We have a card with variants so add layer card okay so i think in this case, we could also go to a certainty UI. Uh, they have, uh, I may say, like some nice cards, more especially. Okay, there are these ones. Uh, this card stack. I'm oh, just yes, going to see it in a second. Okay, I'm just going to go to these cards. So you see, they keep on. Uh, uh, changing okay uh, if i just go to code uh, you have the code installation is frame of motion mm, we already have all this so for this you have to copy the code by yourself so just copy this to card stack. So UI card stack. And then copy this uh, in here. And that's it. So now we can go back and go inside the code copy this and i'm just going to see here in this i'm just going to see here technology card stick technology cards do tsx 
this to this. So I'm just going to bring in this and also this. Start with the card start. And then the C and here. Okay, so if I just go and get this technology cards, take technology cards, uh, copy this, and let's go to technical skills. Let's go and see. Okay. Okay. Okay, you can see here the uh changing. Now we have a problem. I don't know if it is caused by this or which one. But let me just go ahead and design the cards. So the card is here and is taking in the cards where the cards okay the cards are here. There is here card and then the highlight is what is going it goes into I think this. So I'm just going to go into a card. Maybe we have we have to customize it because <clears throat> you can see the map, and then it has this single card. How it's supposed to look like? Now we don't want our cards to look like this, right? We just want them to uh, at least to have uh, some things. At least the name of the technology, the icon, blah blah. <coughs> so let's say we use Next.js, we pass in the icon for Next.js, and so on and so forth. I don't know if these are like images. Yeah, so it's maybe we just pass in the logo. you'd pass in the logo or you'd pass in the icon will be passing in i think icons are, are easy okay so when you just come this side on the card okay we start with this where they have the card content i'm just going to redesign the card instead uh, now not to remove everything uh, we're just like looking at the card down here we could go ahead and indicate it's so where we could put this this here Python and the logo and then this so the card content I'm just going to leave it there but then I'm going to have an icon Just gonna come here and just say, for instance, home from proceed. Let's give it a class name. And then let's go ahead and also use 
Right here, I'm just going to put uh I don't know what was here. Card dot. I just say card dot name. Okay, so we just go and give it a flex. Okay. I'm just going to go and get the icon design from the fixed sidebar. Uh, fixed side bar, I think it is this one. So you could even make it a link. Um, Let me just take one of the class. Go back to the card stack. I'm just going to replace with, uh, with this one. <laughs> Uh, let's just look at how this one becomes now. Okay, we I'm not seeing the home icon. Uh, we give this width and height. Okay. Here I'm not going to put a lot of styles. Instead, I'm just going to put, let me copy this. I'm just going to put the button. Okay. I'm just going to put the button just like this. Last name, uh, class name, I'm just going to, you don't need a class name, just give a variant. I'm just going to give a variant of outline. Uh, let's look at that now. Give a class name. I'm just going to give it in nine flex.
I think here on the technologies, I'm just going to simply leave only that. These cards, I'm just going to put them in another section. I'm just going to do this. Okay. Uh, here instead, I'm just going to say flex item uh, center, justify center. To put these ones, I guess, in the center. Yeah, just like this. And I will so just go ahead. I'm just going to remove the border. Okay. I'm just going to remove the border. So for the technologies, uh, these are the technologies. All right, uh, let's go to another section. Okay, we have the tech stack. We have the text tag, then we have general skills. Okay, so I'm just going to customize, I think um, I'll just customize this and this part here. I will just customize uh, this part here and I think we'll uh, begin maybe from there uh, so far. So let me just go to this sidebar. Okay. I'm just going to go to the page. Uh, go to side of uh, go to the about section uh, years of experience i'm just going to put four awards i'm just going to put so here uh completed projects i'm just going to say like 28 i'm just going to um which other statistic can we put maybe total clients so you're just going to say uh, clients uh clients worked on and i'm just going to just say 30. Uh, okay so if you put 30 maybe uh, here we can just put projects like uh, 36. Okay, so I'm just going also to put 0 I am. That one is okay. Then this one senior a developer. Senior. Senior developer and full stack. Engineer based in. So I'm just going to say you can put that. Uganda. Okay. And then here I've worked on. Uh, various positions including Kedro, Persuasion Design and Teacher's Term. Okay. I'm just going to I'm just going to go here and get 
I will go to this course. If you scroll to the bottom, there is where you have something here. Okay. I can just see. Let me just copy up to that. They just see this if this is a match. I can just continue actually. I'm just going to get this here. See, I'm just going to padding bottom of maybe three, just add some space. And I think I don't want that, I just I'm just going to leave only one simply because I just want a when someone comes to this page, they're able to see all the information uh, on this top layer about me. Okay. Yeah, I think that is uh, very much okay, just like that. Um, And then for the technologies, and I think there is nothing we need to add onto uh, this. Maybe we could just put like a P tag also. <coughs> Uh, section technology technology skills so maybe under this i could just like have this padding let's give it a pyo3 okay uh we we'll just use a gpt to write some of these things Like about technology and stuff. Then we have tools. Uh, do we need? We have already put technologies. Uh, if I put technologies, then tech stack. Mm. I think we can just like also define uh, from this uh, taken and then the take stack. I don't know if on this we created the take stack. Okay, so I think we need just to define tools. And here you have to also put the text stack we use. I'm just going to use this uh, this component to define the text stack from magic. So that is why we have this doc. Was it a doc or something? This one. Can say this. Uh, we can just like put the uh, the text stack 
uh, like this. I'm just going to go to installation. Okay. Custom direction. I think we're just going to put this. If you check on the original one, the original one has this. Uh, while on this one has a very nice magnification, I guess. Okay. I'm just going to first put the original one, then after I will add the magnification. So let me just go to the code here. Uh, this one was not having any other things, so I'm just going to copy this. I uh, will just go ahead and create a component called text stack. Text stack. Do it TSX. Okay. Uh, we have to install the separator from shad. Uh, so just go to shad. Uh, let's go ahead and get the separator in the S here. Okay, so I'm just going to add the separator. Okay. Uh, we have all the icons, I believe. And then they have this text. I'm just going to call this text stack. Text stack. I'm just going to close this. We have one error which says mod toggle. Uh, so we <laughs> we created our custom mod toggle. So I'm just going to get the text stack and and go to technology skills so after these ones either after the group we can say that the text stack so after this we can also add root padding y of four and then i just say take text stack Okay, I'm just going to make sure that everything here is used client in here. Two tip must be under a provider. So we have a two tip somewhere. must have been used inside here uh, inside here 
So we're just going to say two tip provider. Uh, provider. Okay. Oh, uh, we have another one. Two tip here. provider then finally we have these two tips and as you can see two tip tip provider just like this okay okay so we have this okay we don't want this a the dock thing okay uh first of all we can just remove this span and This BG background is not the border, so I don't need it. Okay. So then the height, I remove it. Okay. And then also, there is shadow. should also go off yeah so this is my text stack now i'm just going to create uh, maybe this one here just look the one that uh, custom direction, custom magnification. If we just go on the preview. just going to use this one now this one has no two tip but i think it is more simplified okay i'm just going to the text that so just come this side where i have put this i have sorry have h2 is just take my take stack then put this one here let's give this flex items center let's say gap of six <coughs>
And I'm just going to give this a border. Space X of six. Even if I remove the gap. Okay. If I go to the text tab, let me see from this side. It is doing the exact same thing, I guess. Um, I'm just going to instead, um, this, I'm just going to put it on top of it then, I'm just going to say flex core, just first look at that. Mm -hmm. Just five. Also, it's going to be center. And I wonder if this one was in my inflex. I'm just going to go here, put around it full. Okay. And this one, this one, you cannot change anything in this. I guess it has this margin top or something, margin top of of eight. I'm just going to remove that. Yeah. So I mean I will control it from this side. Okay, so I will just give this class name of font, font board, uh, x, x, there. It's just a margin bottom of two. Yeah. Okay. Now we can just like go ahead and put the icons we want now. So in the text stack, uh, it is taking in the icons like this. If you just see, it takes in only the icon. So I'm wondering if I give it um, I think anything that goes in here will accept. So I'm just going to say, for instance, icon. 
I'm not say I'm just gonna say GitHub icon from let's give it a class name. So with this five, if I just give it six height six and flex sitting. zero okay uh, let's see if that one works yeah so you can see okay the problem comes on the on the stairs this already i think they have these tails Let's check, uh, they don't even have the class names. Uh, this size full, okay, yes, so, so I, I'll give it that. Size food is not okay. So these SVG icons, what is mm, what is the big deal with the SVG icons? Okay, if I put an icon, if I don't give it width and height. I give it on a size full, what happens? Yeah, actually it is okay. Uh this dead on choose bring problems. Okay. Uh just simply uh give the icons. So I will just simply pass in an array here of these icons. I do not need all these icons. Just like this. Okay. And also these ones. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and create our text stack icons. So here we only pass in the icons only. So I'm just going to say here icons. Icons uh, the uh, of type. So let me just go and get the type. Um, I just must put any right now. Just I just want to go and get the type from subheading here. So we go to the type here, which is actually this. I'm just going to export this instead, actually. Type icon.
export uh, maybe type. I can type. icon is of this type here so here we can just say of icon type oh uh, just done here Icon type just like this. Okay, let me just leave it like that the way it was. Okay, I'm just going to simply copy this. I'm not sure. Okay. And so inside the text tag, uh, I just want to see this array and just get this okay and i'm just going to see i'm going to map through this so i'm just going to see icons uh, dot map item Uh, return and I'm just going to see here return doc item. So instead of GitHub, I'm just going to pass icon and inside here, say so const uh, const icon is equal to item dot icon. Um, mm -hmm. um, this one's uh, is going to be. Type icon is equal to icon props is equal to it's going to be having a technology title, maybe next to JS which is going to be a string and then the icon which is going to be uh, this okay I'm just going to say here take stack props. I'm just going to use take stack of props. 
And then I'm just going to come here. Icon is of desktop groups. So I just come here. It is icon. This one will be okay. Just like that. Okay. Uh, we could just go ahead and uh, before we just go that side, we could just go here under the code where we had the first one. Uh, where is the first one? Preview. Yeah, uh, this one is they had this okay mm. we could just first get this two tip add it somewhere here I want the one which has a dock icon. So this is inside dock icon. Actually, you want this one which has a link. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to replace it with this. Magnification and distance. I'm just going to first pass those ones. Magnification of 60 and distance of 100. So just say next link, uh, the key is I. Uh, for the H wave. We can just add the drift here. On this, we add a drift. It's going to be a string. And let's just finally add it on. Uh, let's just get the all these ones. Uh, okay, so here is where we add the icon. Let's see if we give it size four. And then this one is going to where we give item dot title. Okay, so we're supposed to have the item to have these three parameters: a title, icon, and href. So this side is supposed to pass the icons.
I'm just going to call them I'm just going to pass in the stack. This way I'm just going to say const stack. Uh, const stack is equal to an array. There you should have a title. For instance, next. Just uh, icon uh, they just add icon for GitHub for now and H wave is going to be a hash. Okay, so this is going to be GitHub. Then React. Okay, and then uh, say finally TypeScript. Okay, let's just say uh, first leave that and then here on this we just pass in stack which is stack. Okay, uh, let's go back. Uh, make sure that we're passing this one as uh, let's just see use client cannot pass directly in this analysis expert exposed by making it use server uh, where are these ones? Uh, where are they working? Icon props. Okay, so we have to uh, to go to this side, I guess. And you see this stack is take stack props. So we have uh, we have an error.
I don't know the day this one's they be. I think uh, images uh, for now. Let me just simply take them inside uh, here. Let's see now if the error goes. Okay, so we have still a problem. Okay, the first one we had was was okay. And this other one, this one was okay. <clears throat> okay, um, might just end up using this uh, again. But it just like looks exactly the same, only that we just simply oh oh two tip I'm supposed to use a two tip provider here, two tip provider. Let's see if this one works. Uh, might just like be the provider that is bring all this. <clears throat> it is still using this one. Something to do with the Docker. Okay, I'm just going to. Uh, doc magnification. Okay, let me first put this one. Let's see if that one works. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, you're supposed to put everything in, not onto this one. Okay. Cut this. Uh, so this has to be inside the dock. Okay, so outside here is where we create the dock. It is launched as the magnification. And then these ones, they should be inside this. Okay, let's see now. Okay, so now we are good. Okay. Okay. Uh, these ones, uh, they are now their links. Uh, you can also just give custom magnification uh, just this a class name the icon just like this I'm just going to simply remove this.
Ensinar. Tá. So we can now specify uh, the text type uh, of of our needs, and here we're just going to use actually the the images. They will be images at the end of the day. Okay. And I'm just going to increase them. The icon give it. Uh, with this of a title of eight, maybe flex link of zero. Okay, and uh, if the two tip works, okay, when you give them that, then of course you spoil the styles. Okay, I think that is okay. Yeah, so I will start there from uh, the next episode. I will start from there. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode.